fuel load not burnt. And, you know, because of that, the fires have left a devastating trail of destruction. It's destroyed monuments, buildings, and a library, a precious library at the University of Cape Town. So what are the likely costs of the damage? I'm joined by Christelle Coleman, Old Mutual Insurer's spokesperson. Christelle, a very good morning to you. What are you looking at here? Where is the biggest problem going to be for people looking to be able to bring back some money into the household for things that have been lost? Yeah, and I think um, just to start with, uh, this uh, turned out so much better than we expected. Sunday night was chaos. We were worried about um, the insurance claims. And now that the fire is under control, um, the insurance companies will start to assess the losses. Uh, it's very early days to talk about the fire at UCT uh, because, of course, it is a very large risk and exposure. And we don't really know what's, you know, what's, what's going on inside of that building. So that will take weeks, if not months for us to get some sort of indication as an industry how big that fire is. But for the rest of Cape Town, we are very, very fortunate. Claims are small claims, suit claims, um, you know, smoke damage claims to the interior of homes, and, and we'll start working on those now as the fire has been extinguished. I mean, I should imagine something like this is an insurer's nightmare, but as you say, it wasn't as bad as you thought it would be. Let's talk about UCT, the library there. I mean, what should UCT have done from an insurance point of view? Do you insure the buildings? How do you calculate the worth of what was in that library? Well, um, the, you know, most of the universities in South Africa are part of a you know, big risk pool and uh, the insurance industry as a whole all participate in some way or another. I'm sure UCT, uh, you know, UCT's insurers would have made sure that uh, the risk is adequately ex assessed to make sure that they've got the correct insurance value on that, not just the buildings, but that very precious contents, um, and the cover would be in place. The problem is, Jane, is that uh, you can uh, be paid out money, but you can't replace those items because they are essentially priceless. Mm. Uh, but the question really is, can you put a monetary value to it? And yes, you, you, you can. What would those items typically trade our, um, on in the open market if they were to be sold? Uh, professional valuators use guidelines and, and a monetary value is, is then put onto those precious collections. All right. What does the man, woman on the street do? Say, say they, wasn't, they didn't know about the fire, obviously. But how do you protect yourself for something like this? What should you be looking for? Well, if you live in Cape Town, especially if you live close to the mountain, fire is a very, very real risk. I mean, we've had those you know, every year we have fires. Or some of us remember the big fires in 2000, not to mention the Neisner fires. Most insurance, well, insurance policies, the most basic cover is fire insurance. So if you have a fire insurance policy or you have an insurance policy for your home, you would have fire insurance. The biggest problem that we picked up after the Neisner fires, which was a very big exposure loss for the industry, was the, the issue around underinsurance and the fact that some people had no insurance. So um, I really want to call on homeowners in, you know, living in these fire prone areas, use this wake up call now to go to, uh, contact your insurer or your broker and make sure that you've got the correct value on your policies. You ensure your buildings for replacement value, rebuilding value, not what the market value is. The same would go for your contents. Jane, you know, with previous fires, we've had clients calling us on the phone and sending emails as the fire is approaching. We want to insure our house. We want to increase the value on our building. That's not the time to do it. Do it now. We've all just dodged, uh, dodged a bullet, just to say, and, um, and use this opportunity to review your insurance. And uh, the last point I want to make is buildings insurance is the cheapest insurance that you can take out. It's not expensive compared to your motor insurance. So don't skimp on the value. And it's possibly going to be the biggest single investment you ever make in your life. So make sure it's adequately insured. It's the one thing that I want to say to people this morning after the fire. Yes, I should imagine that your phones are going to be ringing with everybody uh, pumping up the, the house price. Uh, I know this is a big ask, but can you guesstimate how much this fire has cost? Well, um, uh, it's the insur you know, from a non-UCT perspective, it really isn't very big. As I said, it's small claims, high volumes. Um, as far as the UCT is concerned, um, I've heard some, you know, some rumours in the market, and it is significant. Uh, but we can't put a price to it yet. It's all the value to it. It's, it's just too early days. Mm, but important message there. Be prepared. Christelle Coleman, thank you very much. Coming up, State Capture Inquiry Chair.